Good morning. Sausage from pasta. Pasta. Sam's making himself sushi. Sushi for breakfast. Not really into it. I like fruit. I love to have like melon and fruit in the morning. I know, honey. And then maybe a big piece of toast. Where's the bread? Did dad eat all the bread already? Oh my goodness. That's crazy. I just brought out a loaf of sourdough. Oh my goodness. I think he ate it last night while he was watching the Olympics. It is August 4th, 4th or 5th, I don't know, but the Olympics are going on and I made a big mistake. So I got rid of the little TV and I got the big TV. We saved that because it's a Roku TV, which that was good. That was smart. Um, but we put it in the office and that was a mistake because now everybody hangs out in the office all the time and watches TV and YouTube and sports. And so my space is, violated. it's violated. <laughs> it is, my space is no longer my space. And, but I did it to myself. And, and Sam even said, this was not, you did not think this out. And I didn't. And we could put it back in the living room, but we can't because the way I've decorated the living room has made it like a no TV living room. And I kind of wanted that. I think that people who don't have TVs as the main focus in their house, they- Can you open this for me? I have oh. wet hands. Oh, why is it so hard? Okay. Um, people who have TVs, well, I don't know anything about people who do anything, but for us, having the TV in the main room meant that it was on 24 seven, blaring, and some of you, one of you knows who I'm talking about, one of you has a father who watches TV and court TV all the time. That would send me over the edge. I can't like Jerry Springer, court TV, those kind of things send me over the edge. Like they are outlawed. News is not allowed in the house, which you said outlawed. Yes, it should be outlawed. And news is not even allowed in mm, this house. And I know I sound like a total control freak, and you know what? I you am. Are. marijuana plants in the back of their cars. <laughs> they carry with them. Mm -hmm. I think where they go, yeah. they camping, they, carry, they put on the ground. Mm -hmm, they're camping. Watering. And they're taking their plant with them. Okay, we're somewhere else now. We're in Safeway. One of the most expensive stores in the world. But I need my sushi wrap. What is that? What is that? Slim Kata? I don't know, I have been what? Slim what? Like the Dairy Shop. Oh, that's, that's, what is it? There's a little seed in there. Yeah, but it sounds like the whole thing. <laughs> it's know, like the whole thing is hollow. It's like this big hollow spot with a little seed in there. Oh my goodness. They must pick them so early that the seed shrivels up. I don't know. So is it like an avocado? It is like an avocado. Is it creamy or? Can you make me go cut one? No. It's, it's I've just creamy. never seen one. Okay, it's creamy, but it does not have the rich flavors like the, these two. Yeah, okay, then it's, forget it. It's kind of like it. watery. Oh. I didn't like it. I, yeah, that's weird. I could cut this one over. No, don't ruin one. I got one away anyway. 
Are you sure? Yeah, okay. I'm filming. Are you okay with that? I'm not showing your face. face. I'm not. <laughs> I got warrants. <laughs> okay, that is on there. <laughs> okay, it's that's weird. Anyway. Yeah, it doesn't. So it's kind of got a weird watery texture. Okay, so that is not an avocado for us. Okay. Thank you. Slim Cotto. Thank you for that. That's a weird avocado, so it's kind of watery, funky texture. We like creamy rich. Oh my goodness, jackfruit, whoa. I thought those were really hard to come by. Well, they come in like this big, they don't Yeah, come. but like. This came from a um, grantee from Mexico. But they always make a drama about, oh, they're so hard to come by. And how much is it? I don't want it. I mean, I cannot get past the smell. Jackfruit is great though for vegans to, you can make a lot of stuff with jackfruit. I just can't, oh, it's durian. Durian's the durian, stuff. Beth. Yeah, durian, I can't handle the smell. Oh, corn. I gotta go out to the garden, see if our corn, everything looks so good. Okay, we're looking for more rice cakes. So we found our rolls, our nori sheet wrap. And now we're looking for, no, this is cereal. I need rice cakes. Let crackers. Let's look for crackers. Crackers. Okay. First, I want to show you the free stuff. That's from our garden. I'm going to core them, throw them in the freezer because I'm collecting tomatoes until the end of the season. I can't believe how many tomatoes are just. I think we have a nine tomato plant. Six, seven, eight. No. We have. Nine. Seven, we have nine? Yeah. Okay, we have nine tomato plants. Some are not producing just yet. Not three, no, yet okay, three, Six, correction. Seven. Three are not producing yet. Um, two, the rest are producing, and I just pruned them, which, and they're producing like crazy, and believe me, in a few more weeks, and with the hot weather, they're gonna grow into huge trees, and they're gonna be producing maybe even through September. So I will have a freezer full. I'm not packing my freezer because I'm going to have so many tomatoes. And then I'm just going to make spaghetti sauce because it's the easiest. And um, and I really use spaghetti sauce for everything. You know, and, and last time I did the diced, um, I did diced tomatoes and basil. And I canned some of that. And that was great. But here's the thing. I don't really use that. I No, I use those for... First of all, you have to boil them a little bit and peel them before you dice them and can them. You can't leave the skin on. Secondly, what's up, what's up, what's up? Did you miss me? Secondly, um, oh, you wanna see what's up here? Uh, secondly, I don't really use it that much except for minestrone soup, you know? But the spaghetti sauce, I use a lot. We eat a lot of spaghetti and I use it for the pizzas. And we, as you've seen, we do a lot of pizza. A lot of pizza. Okay, little girl, I don't have anything for you. Here, let me get her a little treat. I gotta get her a Kong. I do, because I can put a little peanut butter in it and she has to really work it. I just got a couple of these, I don't, uh, I'm not really doing that great with the money budget. I mean, the food budget, I'm just gonna be honest. I'm not doing as great like I had high hopes. But here's what needs to happen. And I talked to Molly about this. The executive CEO, I told him when we go to these Asian stores and Winco and the Indian store, we have to really stock up. Not just, oh, well, we only need a few. These nori wraps, we go through these like crazy. The kids like to snack on them. I love, I go through periods where I want sushi. Like today, I'm gonna to do sushi again today. And everything, Safeway is outrageous. Grocery outlets, fantastic. Safeway is super expensive, but there are certain things I can't get at grocery outlet. And the stores I think are a little more expensive up here because this is kind of an affluent touristy town 
and it's also a little town far away from everything. So when towns, when they know, I know this sounds very paranoid, but it's true. Little towns, when you, you have to travel, you know, a long distance to get to a big town or city, the little towns will nickel and dime you because they know oh, these glasses, they are in bad shape because they know that they can't. That's like, just like, you know, when there's only one gas station in town and they know you have to go at least 15, 20 miles to the next one, they will have outrageous prices. I got more rice cakes because the kids were already, I had to hide the rest of mine and the kids were hunting for them this morning. I got plain rice cakes because I learned this from Nicole Colette uh, and that's her, her channel name, Nicole Collette. Um, and I listened to her because her and Sassy, her husband, were obese and they lost a ton of weight, like 130 pounds or more each. And they've kept it off for like nine plus years. So I listen, I watch, you know, I like, I only like to watch their food things where they show you what they make. So I get ideas. Um, and they aren't on Weight Watcher. It doesn't matter. You just, you get ideas, food and snack ideas. And they eat really well and they also have dessert every night but I am not going to do that pudding anymore and I'm probably never ever going to buy that creamer I'm going to use it up but I can't I can't stand the aftertaste on their sugar free so I looked up chocolate bean or black bean brownies I looked up a recipe it's still a little bit of high points but it's really healthy I got some shrimp, got it on sale. Got some cocktail sauce, shrimp zero points. So I got the rice cake. These are great. I make tuna salad and I put it on rice cakes. And it goes really far. And I make my tuna salads with tons and tons and tons of celery and onions and pickles. Those are all zero points. And then a low fat mayonnaise. And so it winds up being a really easy I did get some of these. You can have 11 pieces for four points. It's better to eat fresh. Got lots of these. I love to cook them real quick and then put a little sauce on them. Pineapples, but these pineapples are so small. They used to be a lot bigger and longer. And I heard that they were, you know, like, um, doing this thing where they were modifying them so that they were smaller. I heard this on the news. To save on food waste, they were making pineapples smaller. And I'm like, I was kind of outraged because pineapples, once you cut off all the skin and the core, I mean, I could eat a whole pineapple, easy. They don't need to be made smaller. Nobody's wasting pineapple. That's not the problem of our food waste. It's like, it's like we have a problem and someone finds like the most ridiculous solution that's just off in left field. So I ranted about that and my kids said I was acting like a Reddit ranter, which is not a compliment. So I got a couple pineapples because zero points. So shrimp, pineapple, because I'm, I'm kind of actually having trouble. I am about... 13 points over. It's Sunday, end of the week. I'm 13 points over. I did an hour of elliptical. I cannot go do another three hour. You know, I'd have to do two more hours. I got three of these. I was thrilled. Still expensive. I think the Asian store was cheaper. I got some cilantro so I can make salsa. I bought these. I went through these really fast. I use these for everything instead of buying those cardboard low carb wheat tortillas. I use these for everything. They're one point each. And I know some of you who are not doing Weight Watchers are probably super over my points conversation. I'm sorry. What did you even get, Mom? I got a lot of stuff, boo. Where'd you get shrimp? That's all I want to know. I got shrimp and I got cocktail sauce and pineapple and this. Did you get any popsicles? No. And I got more rice cakes, and I got avocado so we can make, and I got more of the nori wraps so we can make more sushi. So that's good, right? 
I got some grapefruit because last summer we ate grapefruit off season and it was delicious. I'm not a grapefruit person, but for some reason we were like crazy about the grape and it was summer. And it was like the oddest time for grapefruit to taste good, but Star brought some home last year. Star was my friend who lived with us for a while. I've had a lot of people. I think some of you even remember the granny days. When we first lived in our cottage, I moved some older lady and we called her granny. She lived with us for six months and then her family wanted her back, but she was having issues with her family. And then we were having some issues and it was all perfectly orchestrated issues. And so I'm like, come live with us. And she was great. She got me to get chickens and a chicken coop. And she got me sh to start gardening in the winter. And she taught me how to make, she said, you make all your own bread. And she taught me how to you make the Amish white bread. And she encouraged me to can. Like she, and she showed me the YouTube channels with all the homesteaders. So she got me into the homesteading and the channels and then I got into YouTube and then I started making a channel. And I don't think I made a channel when she was with us. I think that was after she left and I started making a channel. But she just planted all these seeds and really got me up and running. So that was fantabulous. Anyway, and I got a huge watermelon. So we spent a pretty penny because of watermelon and this stuff, I bought $20 worth. Anyway, I think I'm gonna cut up some watermelon right now because I'm really hungry and I have hardly eaten. I've had like a little bit of almonds and I think it's like 2.30. I just didn't, I had my coffee, I worked out, I had some almonds and then I just didn't even like feel like eating. That's rare. out and you would think that you know there was a real tragedy going on here I my phone works and I was watching mommy tang there were a lot of people I used to love to watch when I was really into my vegan thing and I'm not vegan and I'm not fully I'm not plant-based I try anyway you know my story I try the best I can and I'm always working towards it. <clears throat> the trick right now is being on Weight Watchers and continuing to successfully lose weight, which is a big thing for me right now. That is like, talk about priorities, that is a huge priority. I have two priorities right now. I mean, 
being a wonderful, loving, nurturing mother is always, 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 always. And being a homemaker is my thing. A householder. <laughs> a homemaker is totally my thing. Oh, let me check the rice real quick here. Okay, okay, it's doing good now, it's doing good. Let me turn it down, just give it a few more minutes. I'm watching it. Um, <clears throat> but, Mariah's watching Dune. We watch a Dune 2. Dune 1 is, is interesting. It's a good movie. Dune 2 is really good. It's not a movie I would want it. Mariah and I agreed. It's not a movie we want to see again and again. Although she's out of desperation watching it again. We were watching the Olympics. I wasn't. I'm not a sports person. I mean, I totally get it. And it's wonderful. And I wish I was. I would be so much cooler. And I'd have so much more, you know, I'd be more interesting. But I'm super not into sports at all in any way. I love to exercise. But if it's not on an elliptical, I'm not, or in a swimming pool, I'm not interested. And I'm not interested in the swimming. I love to exercise. I don't want to watch people doing it. But I do love sports movies. Like, I love the Rocky movies. I love the movie Nyad. If you haven't seen it, it's on Netflix. It's so inspiring. It's a true story about a woman in her 60s who swam from Florida to Costa Rica, I think. Puerto Rico? I don't know. Okay, I'm just shaming myself right and left. I'm also horrible at geography. Anyway, it was a huge trip. No one ever did it. I don't think anyone's ever done it since. She was the only one. It took her like five times, 26 years, she did it. Oh, it's such a good movie. And it's got um, Jodie Foster, who I love, and that other actress who I really love too. It's a good thing I'm not like a reporter or someone who does interviews, because with my memory and names, anyway, I could stop, I could look it up, but I'm not going to. Um, anyway, that's super inspiring. Uh, what are some other? Oh, Miracle about the hockey team. That I think it was called Miracle. I haven't seen it in years. That's a really good movie. Really inspiring. So see, I mean, I love the movies. I love sports movies with the underdog, rising to the top. Love that stuff. And it sounds like in the Olympics so far... I think this is August 4th today. It sounds like Bali says a lot of the smaller countries and underdogs are winning. So that's thrilling. I'm happy. I get tired of the same big countries winning over and over. It's like boring. I want to see those little countries and those the underdog have some victories. Yay. See, tables are turning. Things are changing. I love it. Anyway, <clears throat> on to other topics. Um, okay, there's two more sushi left, and we've got rice cooking, and I kind of think we're all sushied out. But, you know, the problem is uh, I shouldn't have. Yesterday, everybody kept devouring it, and so today I bought a lot of avocados, and um, I cut them all up, and now no one's really as enthused as yesterday, which I should have known. No one's ever, you know, the first time you have something, you're so excited and you're like, I can't wait to have it again and I want twice as much. It's never the same. You're like, eh, not as exciting this time. Anyway, Ollie's taking a nap. Mariah's watching Dune. I don't know what Sam's doing. I think he's just staring at a blank screen. But I'm going to go out and swim. I'm going to turn off this rice. <clears throat> Are you going to go swim with me? Yeah. I have this on, just so you know. Uh, I need a walk. Okay. I've been making my Winco list. And I have, these are, these are non-food items that I may or may not get. I'm going to check the prices and see. 
but I'm almost out of ivory soap. I use ivory soap on my face. It's the best thing. It's like, it doesn't have all the perfumes and chemicals and a bar of, you know, I get a big package of ivory for what, $4 and it lasts me forever. Whereas you get the face soap and you just get a little plastic thing of gel and it lasts a month for, you know, six, $7. So, Are you almost, tell me when you're ready. I'm ready. Okay, give me a few minutes. Um, and I gotta check and see what our, I'm gonna price out the toothpaste cause it's getting kind of pricey at grocery outlet. And I gotta make sure we have new toothbrushes for the cruise and I need a new hairbrush. My hairbrush is missing like half its teeth because of my ratty hair and uh, toilet paper, but I only wrote, toilet <laughs> and more sunscreen because we're going to be out probably at the pool on the slides all day because that's kind of what the whole ship is geared around and then we'll be in the jungle and everything costs off the ship i did you know i checked everything i have a royal caribbean app i, I may have mentioned that and i signed us up for all the shows but every single thing off the ship, everything costs. But um, I did want us to go to the sanctuary and that's at the same time as the King Kong zip line. And there's other zip lines too that require, that are like climbing through the jungle and walking on the, you know, these bridges and the trees. And then you go on these zip lines over the jungle and, and then you paddleboard back and, I thought it sounded great and I think I'm in good enough shape. Sam wants to do it. Mariah doesn't want to do it. The King Kong, and that's also a five, six hour thing. Uh, so I can't leave one child, you know, off to do her thing for six hours. So, but the King Kong zip line is two hours. So we can be gone for a couple hours. And, but it sounds crazy, like the max age is 60. If you're over 60, you can't do it. It's 30 miles per hour <laughs> flying above the jungle with 11 stops. I'm like, yeah, so you could cry a little and change your pants. Oh my goodness. I don't even know, but I'm gonna do it. Sam wants to do it and I'm like, I'm game. And the sanctuary is at the same time. So that's kind of a bummer. But then I'm also going to pay for, cause these aren't super expensive. They're a little pricey, but they're not too bad. I'm gonna pay one of the places we stop. Um, I wanna go on a tour to the Mayan ruins. And I think you take it by ATV or something, I don't know, it's wild. Like it's hardcore jungle, so I'm digging it. As long as I don't get attacked by a tarantula or a scorpion or, um, so I think that's fun. So I'll sign us up for that too. But other than that, we're gonna be staying on the ship and, and they have a Coco Bay, pleasure day at Coco Bay, which I thought they had built it, this island just for the ship. So I thought it was inclusive. It is not. I may have said this already too. It's like $1,500 per person. So that would be $4,500 for us to spend a day on the beach. And they have the same stuff going on there that they have on the ship. So I'm like, we'll just stay on the ship that day and do the slides and sit poolside and look at everybody hanging out on the beach for you know $1,500 per person. But anyway, I just need to make sure we got sunscreen, new toothbrushes, a new hairbrush. And then I don't have much of a selection here. I don't have a lot of things. Also, I looked up, um, I think you remember, I used to make those black bean brownies, black bean chocolate brownies. And I know that sounds gross, but you do they don't taste like bean at all. They're really good. I found another version of it that looks better than, than the one I used to make by AJ, Chef AJ. And um, that, that one is a few points, but I think I can make it, you know, instead of peanut butter or almond butter, I'll use peanut butter powder. And instead of like coconut sugar or date sugar, I'll use monk fruit. 
So then that'll just bring the points like right down. So I'm gonna create a version of that because these sugar-free snacks are disgusting. <clears throat> they really are. And they're not good for you either. So anyway, that's what we're doing. So tomorrow it's that and Winco, teeth and Winco. And I really hope there's nothing wrong with my teeth. Cause I feel like sometimes when I go, they're like, oh, you need to have some antibiotics here. Or, I don't know, one of my teeth was bothering me, now it's not. And then I feel like this is bothering me. I don't know, I don't know. I floss and brush all the time. I don't know what's happening getting older. Anyway, off I go. Good morning. Looking, oh, 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 and that's how the stove gets dirty. I'm making oatmeal. I'm not doing the steel cut oats because those take a long time, but I'm just doing regular oats and some raisins with, um, peanut butter powder. I have two huge jars of peanut butter powder, but it just so turns out it's a wonderful thing to have for my Weight Watchers and just to cut the fat, period. And then raisins, I have when we used to go to the food bank, they'd give us tons of almonds and raisins. So I have quite the collection. I have bags of raisins and jars of raisins and they're really dried up and kind of, they're not you can't eat them fresh, but they're wonderful in baking and oatmeal. See, I just have bags and bags and jars of nuts. So I don't get rid of them. I use them. I make trail mixes, granola bars, throw them in the oatmeal. Plus, if you throw some nuts in the oatmeal, it makes it even more hearty. Because I have to go to the dentist. Sam's going to go with me. And uh, we're also going to hit Winco. So it'll help. And then we'll probably hit Taco Bell. Because that's kind of our thing. Me and Sam. And Mariah's going to stay here with Dad. And play on the computer and swim and whatever. All right, I'm off to the dentist in a minute. I'm wearing mascara and a little lip tint, but it feels kind of like a lot. In the mirror, I don't mind making up the eyes, but usually I don't wear a lot of lip. Like if you do really dramatic eyes, which I do love dramatic eyes, and I don't really have the eyes to do dramatic eyes, but I've seen some women <clears throat> my age and older that do like a lot of eyeliner, mascara, and eyeshadow, and I actually love it. That I think it looks really fun and enchanting, but some would disagree. I mean, some of us, a little bit of mascara and you're fine, but you can't do dark lipstick at the same time. Because then, I mean, you can, but to me, it's just like overkill. Anyway, I'm going to the dentist and I'm gonna get some ice for my, and I'm taking my book with me. Um, the Mystery Guest by Nita Prose. It is a very charming, cozy, cottage mystery. That's probably not how it would be described, but that's how I feel it is. It's If you want chills and thrills, you ain't gonna get it here. I mean, we're not even close to figuring out the murder, and it's more about uh, Molly the maid. Hold on. It's more about Molly the maid, and you know, they're investigating the murder, a famous author was poisoned right before he was going to give his big speech and it's kind of the book goes back and forth between Molly when her grandma was alive and Molly was a child and they actually uh, worked 
at the mansion of this famous author. And when you're getting, just so you know, when you have, like I have these silicone ice trays, when you wanna get your ice out, and I, all my bottoms, even this ice tray is firm, but it's got the silicone. You run hot water over the bottoms and tops, and then it works. So, <clears throat> I'm getting my water. Sam and I had two big bowls of oatmeal with raisins and peanut butter powder, and that was it. And it was really good. We didn't put any sweetener, anything. It was delicious. So, but, my one bowl, my one bowl was 11 points, which is half my day's calories. So I guess when I go to Taco Bell, instead of having the crunch wrap, which I love, the vegetarian crunch wrap, I'll be having the bean burritos with no cheese. Hmm. skip this section but this is good oh and there's bird feet one of the agent stores this one is kind of off to the side it's right outside I know that's okay it's kind of off to the side it's the old town we used to live in those of you know when we lived in the little blue house anyway I love this one I stock up on soup you can't ask him go ask the guy one of my favorite sections right here. Food flavor. Is that okay? Sam and Mariah love the ramen, but once you have this kind of ramen, you cannot eat American top ramen. Be careful, okay? Because 
Oh, I think that one's really good. Oh, yeah. I think. I don't know. You better ask him. I'm also going to buy another pestle. Golly bought a mortar and pestle. And he bought like a normal pestle and a huge, I don't know which one's which, but the, is this the mortar or the pestle? Anyway, he got one that was like enormous, like two feet by four inches, like two feet long four inches. I'm like, who? Who can work with that? So, I'm getting that one. Okay, that was good, Sam. I'm trying to find chopsticks. I don't know why, but we go through chopsticks. Taco Bell. I just got plain cheese. No, I got, oh no, not, sorry. I'm so hungry. Woo, we waited too long. It's like three o'clock. A bowl of oatmeal at 7.30 does not hold you that long. Anyway, I got bean burritos, but I had no cheese, extra sauce, extra onion. And I asked her if they cooked it with lard or anything. She said they're just dehydrated beans. They add water. And then I meant to get quesadillas for Dad and Mariah, and I said enchiladas because I was so hungry. Mm. I don't know where I got. Okay, we're home. And I'm pooped. It has been over five hours since we've been on the road, been shopping. Okay, I'm going to remember to put everything out this time. I spent about $90 at the Korean store and a lot of it I stocked up. I love this wonton soup and I'm going to show you all this stuff because it's good stuff. I, I really love this stuff. I just put noodles and tofu and vegetables, greens. This is another when we lived in the little blue house. I used to use this all the time and also use this for our soup. Once again, we just throw in some noodles, some greens, some tofu, mushrooms, whatever you want. But these are wonderful base broths. And then Sam, of course, got his ramen. Look at my little Molly. Yeah, oh, you know what? Let me feed her real quick. I had to feed her because it's like three o'clock. And she also eats very, very early, and I gotta keep that in mind. Anyway, lots of ramen. Sam has a thing for ramen. And it's just so much better than the, you know, the cheap ramen. And then I just got an assortment of noodles, extra large rice sticks, and then this one. And then Sam also picked this fish, potato and fish sausage corn dogs. Okay, <clears throat> I got myself a pestle and chopsticks. And somehow I keep losing mine. And then lots of these. The guy at the store said these are great for chow mein. Some more rice noodles. And then this, he said, is also great for chow mein, but it breaks easy. And then just more noodles, more noodles, more noodles, more noodles. Now, if I had not purchased the ramen or these, you know, if Sam, but Sam, he's earned this. He's earned some treats and he loves to try new stuff and I do too. So I support that. But if I just stuck to the noodles and, oh, that's another thing. I don't, I won't have to get these next time. I won't get the extras. I'll probably always get the, the ramen. But if we stuck to the noodles, it would be super, super cheap. 
these are kind of pricey too. Like this is $10. I don't know. I could not find. Oh, here we go. What is that? $4. Okay. So 10, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So $30 of this was just in the broth. So 30, so then there's 60 and then the, all the specialty stuff. <clears throat> but you could just stick with the noodles and be just fine. Okay, now here is Winko. I spent 140, around 140, I don't know, 145 at Winko. And some a big chunk was for the meat. Now remember, my family is not vegetarian. So, and I'm not always perfectly vegetarian, as you have seen. So, three huge jars of pickles, because we go through pickles like crazy, and I love to make potato salads and tuna salad. Ham, I am not buying store-bought bread or lunch meat next year. Last year, I was constantly buying store bread and lunch meat and sliced cheese and making them sandwiches. I'm not doing that this time. I'm making all homemade stuff and I will use this. I'll probably bake it. I'm gonna actually chop it up in sections and freeze it. I found that there were the little hams that were $21 and then this big ham from the same company was like $19. And then I got a cheap chuck roast for um, a pot roast. I have all these potatoes and carrots and I've got all kinds of things for a big pot roast. And that's all the, oh, and then I bought a lot of tuna. This will last us forever. I bought a ton of tuna, because every once in a while, tuna salad is like, whoo, it's the thing. And I got some celery. Now this was not, I just wanna make it clear, this was not like a weekly or monthly run. This, is, this was to stock the pantry. So I usually don't do a lot of produce. I do produce weekly at Grocery Outlet or our little health food store, but I, I rarely get anything. This is just to stock everything, but I did. The grapes look delicious, so I did get those, and I did get celery because I want to make some tuna salad, and I forgot the onions, and I forgot the cabbage, and then this is cocoa powder, so I can make, and this is flax meal, so I can make the chocolate bean, black bean chocolate uh, vegan brownies. And then, you know, you have the bran and the wheat germ. You know, so, and then we have some more onion powder and curry. And then, of course, coffee, which this is not as cheap as it used to be. And the big container was really expensive, so I didn't. Seattle's Best, I bought three of these. These were four something, so... I was impressed and then I did get a couple of these for my creamer so I don't run out. And I bought myself ivory soap for my face and another thing of ketchup. And so that, um, so that, that is it. It is different. You definitely get a little less bang for your buck, but it's also the meat. That meat over there is probably I think one of them, oh, what was this? Okay, so that one was about 19, and then that one was 16. So you got 36, $37 right here. So everything else would have been about 100. And, and that's pretty good. And I mean, this stuff will last forever. I'm also, I have to go back to the dentist in September, so I'll probably do another stock up okay so i'm cut usually i don't do this but i'm trying to be all grown up and responsible so i just cut it up because we'll only use you know these are going to be used for school lunches and i will scrub everything once i'm done i just want to touch do the meat get it put it store it away this is um, a ziploc bag that I saved from the lunch program. Okay. And then these are the ones I like. I gotta find more of these. I was in a program, but they kept sending me lunch stuff. Like I need these kind of bags and garbage bags. And I kept getting tons of sandwich bags, but not these bags. 
And then the coffee, yeah. Where do you want to put the coffee? Good idea. Okay. This way I can freeze it all and this will last me a long time and I can make our own homemade healthy Lunchables. Now I know ham's not the greatest choice, but my kids love, love lunch meat. And it's a fortune and it's not very good for you. A lot of stuff in there. So I think it's better if you can get a roast. Now, I was gonna to try to find a roast and do that, and then that could be sliceable, but I, if any of you can tell me a good roast that I can cook, bake or cook in the crock pot and then it stays firm so that I can slice it up, because I did that once with a pork roast, and I didn't even cook it that long. I mean, I cooked it thoroughly, but it just fell apart. It became like this shredded and the kids didn't want that. Let me get another bag. <clears throat> All right. Okay, let's do this. So you can make sandwiches. You can make little, your own homemade Lunchables. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make my own granola bars, crackers, bread, and then the Lunchables. cookies, everything homemade this coming school year. No buying the store stuff because it's just too pricey and it's not that good. And then I got all the stuff so I can make my own little brownies. And I got, but I got chocolate all over me. Anyway, it was kind of, it was a long, long day. I went to the dentist thinking nothing would be wrong. And, you know, I was like, oh, you know, I have a certain hygienist that works on my mouth and my mouth is really sensitive. I'm really wimpy, I'm sensitive. My roots are kind of exposed a little bit because I'm getting older and so it hurts. And I'm really wimpy, and so I have this one hygienist I love, and she's just real quick. Like, she literally takes less than five minutes to do it, and she does a great job, and I've had her forever. But then it was time for x-rays, and the doctor came in, and he was like this, and this, and this. I had one little cavity, but I also had, like, all this stuff, like, between my teeth and my gums, all the top part is breaking down and falling off. It doesn't really look like that when you see the pictures, but it is. The enamel and everything's coming off because they say, they ask me, they ask, are you clenching your teeth? Are you, you know, grinding your teeth at night or clenching your jaw? And do you have headaches? And I don't, I don't have headaches. I don't clench my jaw, I don't grind my teeth, but I don't know what I'm doing in my sleep. But obviously they said that comes from you can put the camera on you. here. Here, can you put this all in the freezer? All of it in the freezer. It's all clean. You can put a camera on me. Yeah, put a camera on me. Yeah, I see what the crazy old lady's doing in the middle of the night. Oh. So that's gonna be a couple thousand dollars. Yay! And uh, and so I wound up getting one of those quick. I just, I don't have that. And so I got one of those dental credit cards, but I did the 12 month credit card. So first of all, I got 5% off the whole thing. It actually was, I think, I think it was almost 2,800 and then, or 25 something. Anyway, I got 5% off and then I got the credit card, but if we pay it off, um, in 12 months, it's just, I'm going to put a down payment tonight and activate it. And then every month I pay 170 and then everything's paid off in 12 months. No interest. I don't know how they can afford it, but also I qualify because we're low income. That means I'm not no, 
Bali says that means I can build two sheds now. <laughs> no, not my other shed probably goes <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how he uh I don't know how he's how do you figure that, Bali? Like uh, those cost me like two thousand dollars the other shed like but a nice one. So now I feel <laughs> oh, like no. a Oh no. Oh no. Just because my teeth are falling apart doesn't. You can't buy expensive. You can't build expensive sheds because all of it's going towards my the horse's mouth, the workhorse's mouth. Oh, can you put this stuff away? Hey, Bali. Bali here. Okay, put it in the cupboard, please. So there you go. Anyway, I wanted to cry a little bit when I was in the chair because the doctor was looking and I didn't know. She said, you might have a cavity. But then he kept naming, you know, he's digging around in my mouth and kept naming this to 12, number 12, and 30 and 22. And I was like, Lord, I had that many cavities, but it wasn't. It was just that I'm breaking off the top. And I don't feel stressed and I don't, think I'm clenching my jaw. I never have pain in my jaw. I never have headaches, nothing, but maybe, maybe I am. And so what it makes me feel like, it makes me feel like it's a little bit of a wake up call. Like you need to manage your thoughts and your stress because now it's affecting your health, you know? Because our thoughts and our what's going on in our mind affects our physical body and our physical life. Mm -hmm.